What's going on you guys? Welcome to my channel. It seems as if worldwide superstar Akon has been getting some backlash for his recent controversial statements. Okay, so we have already been dragging him the past few days over his commentary on defending Nick Cannon saying that he shouldn't worry about attending every recital for his kids because that's a white man thing. Okay, so people already been dragging him a few days ago. Um, if you don't know, he did a full uh, podcast interview with the ZZ Mill show. I have watched the show and I was like, Akon, you need your ass beat. So let's go ahead and get into what actually caused a reaction from social media influencer Van Lathan. So Akon was, you know, like I said, speaking on the Z Mill show and he stated that he, he was saying how he contrasts the performers in black America to the performers in Africa. So now, and he said in his opinion, Africa takes the win when it comes to hitting the stage, stating we're a little different when it comes to stage presence. Now America, oh yeah, them gonna be wobbling pants, hanging half down, bored as hell, half asleep because they high as hell on stage. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the short little clip here and then I'll go ahead and get back with the remainder of my commentary. The African. Yeah. We a little different when it yeah, comes to yeah, stage yeah, presence. Yeah, 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 Not yeah. America. Oh yeah, them niggas gonna be wobbling, pants hanging half down, <laughs> bored as hell, half to sleep because they high as hell. Right, on stage. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Africa, we wake up morning like, look, I mean, look at these YouTube clips of all these kids from Uganda and yeah. how they be, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like these yeah, kids yeah. are performers. Like, yeah. so when, for us, it comes natural, you know, like to watch the kids from Africa. Okay, guys, so you all have just seen that small clip of Akon speaking his opinion over that whole situation and. I will say that it goes more into a narrative of Africans versus African America. If you guys know, especially in the black community, it's always been like a, a, some type of a divide between Nigerians, Africans, and African Americans. It's always been a divide. It has always been like that for years. Now, I won't say like the millenniums or, you know, the generation after. I'll say like maybe the older generation um, was definitely divided my opinion like our grandmothers and um, even some of our parents so a lot of people were not really here for Akon's comments at all okay many social media users shared their disapproving opinion of his statement like one tweet said Akon cosplayed as a black American for the majority of his career but so him saying this is wow let the black Americans cook him without xenophobia please Another tweet said, Akon does not speak for Africans. Please don't allow this buffoon to begin that Africa versus African American nonsense. I beg. Another tweet said, imagine having a critique on African Americans being worse than Africans, but having six kids in America that you refuse to participate in their lives because it's white people-ish while being born in Missouri as an African American. The jokes write themselves at Akon. Another person said, as a Ghanaian American, I hate this with every fiber of my body for so many reasons, but what really gets me is this entire conversation is Akon using AABE while degrading African Americans. It's a both slap in the face and peak anti-blackness. Okay, you guys, so that's just some of the tweets and the tweets go on and on and on, honey. But look, so Van Layton Jr., um, who was the former TMZ host and co-producer, also was pissed off at Akon's comment. Now, he took to his Instagram to slam his statements. We already know that Van is very articulate in his statements and how he feels. He can get out his opinion. He can get out his statement very articulate. So he said on his Instagram post, first off, Akon has been on his clown-ish for years now, but that's another topic. God bless them. I want to say something though. I'm black, like black American black, like South Louisiana Bayou bondage black. That kind of black where you grow up around old people with scared souls who tell you about everyone who died and everyone who lived so you would sit down and drink a soda on that Saturday. Real talk. Real talk. I'm sick of seeing people itch on that. And make no mistake, when you single out black Americans for criticism, the only ones who cultural empower and entire diaspora. You're issuing the entire experience I feel connected to my birthright. This seems to be happening more now. Why? Why do people who like Akon made millions of dollars cosplaying like brothers from Atlanta or Miami feel the need to tear us, tear into us specifically? 
There's this fear that I have. The fear is that black Americans are to other black people worldwide that we always been here. Workhorses you plow through and build something for someone else who eats off it before turning around and shooting a horse in the head. This might be irrational. I'm insecure as Akon must have been strapped a PS5 to his head and call it hair. Okay, and child, a lot of people agree with him. A lot of people feel like that Akon was doing the absolute most with that topic. A lot of people feel like that Akon was definitely making a huge ass device of comparison. And I think it definitely triggered a lot of people, um, black Americans and Africans, because guys, there has always been a social distance between Africa and African Americans, okay? So my question to you guys is, and this will leave an open discussion, where is the disconnect between black Americans and Africans, okay? What is the disconnect? Because I feel like that Africans and African Americans have had sim similar um, interracial struggles, okay, that you would think that would have a bond, but it's not like that. Um, and I really want to get to know, I really want to get to the bottom of this. So I might do a after video on this conversation and have a dialogue with um, maybe like another YouTuber or something. But guys, let me know of your thoughts and opinions of Akon's approach on this situation. And do you agree with him or do you agree with Van Laden that Akon was doing the absolute most? Let's go ahead and get that discussion going and I will meet y'all in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josiah's World TV. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. Bye-bye.